Hey guys and welcome to Smart Home Things, a channel dedicated to smart home technology. So have you ever wanted to have a smart weather station that you can use to measure your temperature, pressure or humidity and then notice that they can cost even a hundred dollars? Well, stay tuned because in this episode I'll show you how to make one for five. Enjoy! Okay, so as I didn't have a female to female cable, uh, then we will need to uh, somehow do without that. So I took a simple breadboard, uh, our VMOS. Uh, so I'm putting uh, the VMOS in the breadboard, like so. And then I'm taking our sensor also uh, into the breadboard. So now the wiring. Uh, I have to point out that uh, for me uh, I bought the 3 volts sensor. Uh, I've used a couple of DHT11 and 22s and for me they were really fragile in high humidity environments because I was using this as my weather station outside. So uh, for me this GYBM280 sensor, uh, especially the 3v3 works best. So first I'm connecting the 3v3 from VMOS to our VCC, then I'm connecting our ground uh, from the VMOS to our uh, to our um, sensor and then uh, basically it doesn't matter at all but I'm uh, using the D1 uh, GPIO of the VMOS and connecting it to the SCL and then I'm taking the D2 GPIO from our Venus, VMOS and connecting it to our SDA. Okay, so let's start with uh, the uh, programming part. We have our SCL connected to D1 and our SDA connected to our D2. So those are pins 4 and 5 because Arduino IDE understands the pinout of the original Arduino. So uh, in here we have to go to File, uh, Examples, BME, uh, BME280 and use the BME280 I2C test. Okay, so in this uh, test sketch we see that we have uh, voltage in ground, ground, SDA and SCK. So uh, normally we would have to connect everything uh, to pins that are uh, usually associated by default in, uh, in our VMOS to some uh, specific GPIO, but let's override it. So here we can do this. Uh, so our pin 4 that is uh, our uh, D2 uh, is our SDA and our pin 5 that is D1 uh, is our um, SCL. So hopefully now we can upload it and it should work. Okay, loading complete. So now we can go, go to our uh, serial port monitor and see that we are indeed getting our results. So temperature, humidity and pressure. So see that if I'm lifting this up or down, the pressure is changing. And when I'm touching uh, the temperature sensor, uh, the temperature is rising. Also, if I breathe on the, the sensor, 
the humidity will uh, actually increase. Okay, so uh, actually that's it for the uh, for the sensor programming and wiring part. Okay, so thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you liked this tutorial uh, and in the next uh, video I will be doing uh, the actual integration of this exact sensor uh, into our Apple Home ecosystem. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. See ya.